it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to find the best settings, color quality, print quality, uh, the white, the color, uh, by using the print chart on your Epson F2100. So you want to do this the first time that you use any type of new material. So whether that's a, a new shirt, whether that's a new color, a new brand, um, you, or even DTF. So what you're going to do is you're going to end up printing out one of these um, you're going to have to sacrifice a piece of DTF film, a shirt, um, and but what you're going to do is it's really going to save you in the long run because what you are going to be able to do from that, and I'm going to show you how to not only print this, but how to read it afterwards, you're going to use those bet the best quality that you find here, all these different options, there's 20 of them here, and you're going to use that to create your custom presets in the Epson Garment Creator. So while it does, while Epson's Garment Creator does come with those five default presets, you are going to want to make your own so that you can get the best quality prints. So first thing that you need to do is have your material, your garment, your shirt, your, your uh, DTF film. So what we are going to do is we are going to create the preset for this shirt. This is just a Hanes uh, shirt. This is 90% uh, cotton. I can't read the rest of it, but 90% cotton. I just got a four or five pack from Target and I've already pre-treated this. So I'm going to talk about pre-treat extensively in another video, but this black shirt, you might be able to see a little bit there, is already pre-treated. So whether you are going to do this for um, a black shirt, a white shirt, Hanes, some, Bell and Canvas, whatever it is, you're going to have to do one um, or you should ideally do one for every new brand. All right, so we're gonna hop back over to the software. I'm gonna show you how to print out um, that uh, color chart. Okay, so once you open up Garment Creator, you are going to want to um, set it so that you are your print settings are for the color shirt that you are going to use. So in this case, we are just going to use a black shirt. We are not gonna use Garment Black because we want the black to actually print on this shirt. So we're gonna use Dark Color Standard, and then it's asking us what settings. So we just wanna use the default layout settings. That's for using Direct to Garment. Now, once we are over here in our uh, default for dark color what you have here okay and then down here under ink density if you don't see it you'll just need to expand it you have this option to print chart that is where you are going to print the chart so before you click yes you do want to make sure that your shirt is already on the platen once it is then you'll be ready to click yes Okay, so after you send it to print in Garment Creator, then you are going to, obviously the shirt is all ready to go. It is telling me to please wait, and just like normal, it is asking me to please press the, the big blue button. Now, it is going to tell me if there's a problem with the height, it'll beep at me and tell me it's too high. Um, if I need to change it, this one doesn't seem to have had a problem, so it is just beginning to print. So once it prints out the ink density chart, then we are going to, we need to cure this. So this, the ink will still be wet when it comes out. So you will need to take this over to your heat press and fix it. Then I'm going to show you how to read this chart. All right, so after you fixed your shirt, and this one has already been washed and dried, so you do have a little bit of cracking here, but I'm just gonna show you what you see here is you're gonna evaluate every one of these blocks. These, clearly the minus 50 on the color, we're gonna, that's not gonna be effective. Down here, also not effective. So we're gonna look, this one up here, I can tell right away, not effective. What you are looking for is big, bold colors that do not bleed into each other. And by bleed, I mean, Let's take a closer look at this one right here. So at surface level, this looks pretty good, but look at the yellow and the purple right here. They're kind of, the colors are kind of bleeding into each other. So we don't want that one. Down here, you have the white kind of bleeding in very, very slightly into the gray. But if you're looking at uh, this one right here, this one actually looks, whoops, this one right here, this one actually looks pretty good. So does this one. Although if you're looking closer at this one, I can see that the white and the gray kind of um, are overlapping a little bit. So what the one that I feel like I like the best is somewhere between this one and this one. Now, what you will notice is 
even though these are the two that we like the best, this up here says plus 30 and this says plus 50. So if you're looking for something that's in between, you're gonna look for, you're gonna enter plus 40 in garment software for the color. And then what you're also going to do is you're gonna see, the white level is an ink density of zero, and this is the one we like the best. So when we would put in the white ink density level, we would put 0% for white, and then as I said, we're kind of in between here, so we would put 40. And that's how you are going to find the settings for each individual material that you're using. And you'll use those to create those presets. Again, you wanna do this for each new type of material garment that you're using, whether that's um, a shirt or uh, direct to film. So I have other videos on how to create a preset if you're looking for more information on that, but this is how you're gonna use the ink density chart to find the best colors for the garment that you're using.